Republicans are condemning Donald Trump's allegations that federal judge Gonzalo Curiel's Mexican heritage makes him biased against the presumptive nominee in Trump University lawsuits. And the Clinton campaign is certainly taking notice. There is a new ad they put out this, this weekend on the Internet. Is that not a racist statement? I couldn't disagree more with a statement like that. Are you comfortable with a potential president attacking a federal judge for his heritage? No. Uh, this, this is one of the worst mistakes Trump has made. And I think it's inexcusable. He says that when he questions whether the judge can be fair because of his Mexican heritage, that is not racist. Do you agree? Look, I, uh, I don't condone the comments. I completely disagree with the thinking behind that. I want to bring in Ashley Bell. He's an RNC delegate from Georgia. Nice to see you again, Ashley. Uh, Good what, to see you again, Let Kate. me just ask you point blank. What do you make of Donald Trump's comments about Judge Curiel and his comment over the weekend that a Muslim judge might not be able to be impartial in a trial involving Trump University? It's astounding that Donald Trump released his own prejudice. He came on TV and said that he would be prejudiced against a Muslim uh, or a uh, a Latino possibly being on the bench, or and this is just, this is disheartening. He's missing the best opportunity he could have gotten. We've had a month with him being able to unify the party and to progress his campaign. All that's wasted now. All that's wasted. Hillary Clinton's going to wrap up the nomination in a week, and we're worse off today as a party than we were a month ago. But let's let's be clear. You're an RNC. You're a Republican National Committee delegate to the convention this summer. The last time we spoke, you thought you were going to be yeah. backing. You were going to cast your uh, your your vote basically for Donald Trump. You told us this morning you actually have to switch now to Ted Cruz, right, because of the way your district right. voted. Ultimately, way, though, it, ultimately, what are you going to do? You're going to support your 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 candidate, your nominee. Look, I have to vote for Ted Cruz in Cleveland, yeah. and I'm going to support the Republican nominee. But I can tell you right now, Donald Trump, he is our presumptive nominee. But the comments he's making right now is a disservice to the millions of Americans that supported him in this primary. They supported him because they wanted to see change happen. They wanted to not see Hillary Clinton in the White House. He is wasting that opportunity and doing an absolute disservice to his supporters by putting his campaign in a position where he's backed into a corner and making prejudiced statements about judges uh, and, 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 frankly, African Americans. Let me, let me ask you about a comment that he made on Friday at a rally. This was Donald Trump singling out an African American in the crowd. Uh, take exactly. a listen to the tape. Exactly. We had a case where we had an African-American guy who was a fan of mine. Great fan. Great guy. In fact, I want to find out what's going on with him. You know what I'm... Uh, look at my African-American over here. Look at him. Are you the greatest? Do you know what I'm talking about? So Gregory Cheadle is the man that Trump singled out when he's pointing off camera. He told NBC right. that he's not, in fact, a Trump supporter, but stressed that he was not offended by that comment. How did you take that comment? You know, I, I don't know how he wasn't offended. Um, anytime you reference an African-American in that sort of possessive tense, uh, it's going to spark a, a natural reaction. And one for me was, was very disheartening uh, to hear Donald Trump use that sort of terminology. Here's the problem. I want to know where the people in the Trump campaign who can tell him these things are out of line and out of character of, of, a, of a nominee. I have to ask myself, you know, where's Omarosa? Uh, where's this uh, National Diversity Coalition group that he has? He needs to put more people of color close to him to help him understand uh, that the linguistics that he's using is putting, him, putting himself in a hole and he's wasting the greatest opportunity that anyone could get in American politics to be the nominee of the Republican Party. And we can't afford to have Hillary Clinton in the White House, but he's not doing us any favors right now. Ashley Bell, we will keep checking back with you. Thanks for being with us again. And as you mentioned, Hillary Clinton